General Manager and Director of the South Pacific Business Development, PG, Mr. Rico Munoz, Director of the South Pacific Business Development of PG, and the Chief Judge of the 14th SPD, SPBD Business Women of the Year, Ms. Lorraine Sito, members of the Diplomatic Corp. All the nominees for this year's uh, South Pacific Business Development Women of the Year, members of the South Pacific Business Development Management Team and SPBD members, esteemed judges, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, Istanbul Minaka, and a very good evening to you all. I extend my sincere appreciation to the executive management of the South Pacific Business Development, commonly known as the SPBD, for the kind invitation to be here with you this evening. It is indeed my privilege to celebrate with you the 14th South Pacific Business Development Foundation Day and Business Woman of the Year Awards Night, recognizing the outstanding achievements of our nation's remarkable women micro-entrepreneurs who are members of SPBD. Tonight is more than just an evening of awards presentation. It's about honoring resilience, creativity, and dedication of the women who are transforming their lives and uplifting their families, communities, and our beloved nation. I wish to acknowledge the presence of the founder, the president of uh, the South Pacific Business Development Network, Mr. Kasange, and the general manager of the director of SPDVG, Mr. Munz, and the director of SPD, SPBD Fiji and chief judge of the 14th SPBD Business Movement of the Year, Ms. Lorraine Sito. I applaud the SPBD Network Initiative and its Fiji agency because of the progressive opportunities as well as the potential for growth of women in microenterprise in Fiji. According to the Asian Development Bank data in 2023, women account for 19% of the micro, small, and medium enterprises. The assessment estimates that there are 5,500 registered women involved in micro, small, and medium enterprise ventures. This is in addition to the 18,742 self-employed women and 4,650 women working in handicrafts. As we celebrate the entrepreneurial spirit of our women, I commend the foundation that has been laid and the intense work that continues behind the scenes to elevate the status of women involved in MSMEs in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme of this year's award, Women-Led Micro-Enterprises, Enriching Lives and Building Future, is a powerful and fitting reflection of the transformative impact women are making in Fiji's socio-economic landscape. The holistic nature of women-led enterprises, which often focus on creating sustainable livelihoods, addressing social challenges, and nurturing the next generation is clear. The theme underscores the idea that when women are empowered economically, they become key agents of change, fostering prosperity for future generations. The achievements of the nominees serve as a powerful reminders of the limitless potential that lies within each of one of us when given the right opportunities. Through the invaluable support of SPBD, you have been able to turn your dreams into thriving businesses. Your courage to take that first step towards financial independence is an inspiration to us all. In doing so, you have empowered yourselves and the next generation. As a tool for empowering women, many micro-enterprises are operated by women, especially through initiatives like SPVD, which provides micro-loans to help female entrepreneurs build their businesses. By providing financial independence and opportunities for economic participation, the micro, small, and medium enterprise of OMSME sector has enabled many women to improve the living standards of their respective families, invest in education, and contribute to their communities. These businesses are key to alleviating poverty and enhancing gender equality in Fiji. 
I am pleased that Fiji is now more focused on microfinance facilities. At the recent Fiji Development Bank's National Small and Medium Enterprise Award, I noted the great strides SME has contributed to economic growth and employment. The Ministry of Trade, Cooperatives, Small and Medium Enterprises and Communications officially announced its intention to expand its mandate to include micro-enterprises in January 2024 and the inclusion of micro took place in August this year. This, in addition, aimed to enhance support for micro, small and medium enterprises, acknowledging their critical role in the creation of employment and economic development. SPVD is very much a part of the micro enterprise sector. At the inaugural MSME conference that was held in Fiji in March of this year, the Minister for Trade and Cooperatives, Small and Medium Enterprises and Communications, Honorable Manu Kamida, highlighted his ministry was working closely with consultants on developing the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Act. The access to capital bill and Fiji's first ever MSME strategic plan. I understand that SPBD was consulted on these matters. The MSME sector contributes significantly to the national gross domestic product as well as employment generation. MSME accounts for approximately 18% of Fiji's GDP and employs over 60% of the workforce. This sector comprises of 82% of registered businesses, emphasizing its role in Fiji's economic structure. With over 30,000 registered MSMEs, the sector is seen as the backbone of the economy, driving growth, fostering innovation, and encouraging diversification, particularly in the rural areas. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, SPBD's journey began in Samoa in 2000, January 2000. The regional expansion started with the establishment of SPBD in Tonga in June 2009, followed by SPBD in Fiji in December 2010. SPBD Solomon Islands commenced operations in November 2012. SPBD Vanuatu became the fifth country that had worked to open in April 2017. We eagerly await the opening of the SPBD Kiribati office soon. In Fiji, SPVD celebrates its 14 years of operation with 10 branches established in Suva, Singatoka, Sao Sao, Lotoka, Raki Raki, Lambasa, Taviuli, Nebuka, Nambualo, and Rapsori between the years of 2010 to 2024. These branches serve more than 440 village based women's groups with a membership base of over 9,000 across the country. The sustained growth is impressive. We look forward to seeing more branches and groups established throughout Fiji, particularly in the maritime areas where access to finance is even more crucial for women. I wish to congratulate SPVD Fiji for reaching the remarkable milestone of Fiji's $100 million in loan disbursement this year. It's particularly heartening to know that our very own Fiji Development Bank particularly funds this unprecedented accomplishment. I recall in the um, 20th of April 2017, before assuming office, I had opened the SPVD Lambasa branch. The expansion was part of SPVD's initiative to empower women entrepreneurs in the North through microfinance. I understand that the Lambasa office has now expanded to accommodate the growing needs of the women micro-entrepreneurs in the Mothawata province. This is an excellent achievement and at the risk of being sound, sounding biased, I am pleased that my province is well represented here tonight at the World of Honor Arena. Again, I am pleased that SPVD is fully committed to empowering its members, especially women in rural and underserved communities with business training, unsecured credit, and ongoing guidance to start and grow their small businesses. SPVD's continued partnership and collaboration with stakeholders drives the organization's visibility in the public eye. This, in turn, creates sense of inclusivity and the ownership 
that essential to your holistic growth. To the executive management of SPVD, for your commitment to creating opportunities for our women. Your support has opened doors and provided resources needed for our women to shine. Together, we are building a more inclusive and prosperous Fiji, one that recognizes and nurtures the talents and potentials of every individual. I acknowledge past winners of the SPVD Business Woman of the Year. I hope their achievement has been a source of inspiration. To the finalists, tonight is your night. Congratulations. Your individual success stories. Your individual success stories are a consolidation of perseverance, determination, and hope. You are proof that with vision, hard work, and the right support, anything is possible. The success, the road to success is never easy. But you have shown us that when you are guided by purpose, you can overcome any obstacle. You are role models for the women and girls of Fiji. Your successful stories will inspire many to follow in your footsteps. May you keep reaching for greater heights, knowing that you carry with you the pride of the nation that celebrates accomplishments. May the awards you receive urge you to grow as individuals and professionally for a better quality of life and a better Fiji. May tonight's celebration be the beginning of even greater success stories to all of you. May God bless you all and may God bless you.